morning. So I would like to talk uh, about some remarkable relation between oops, algebra. So, of course, I don't need to explain you what algebra are, but uh, I need to say a couple of words about motives because uh, you, you, you noticed uh, already uh, in the course of the conference there are several uh, different constructions. So, I need to uh, say you uh, which construction I mean. So, actually, it will be very close to the original construction of Grothendieck. So, let me start. So then we oriented fix this category of motives. So what uh, are oriented cohomology previous? Ah, so an important thing I forgot to say. So this is a joint. Uh, Arrange the homology theory as a function of the category of smooth radius over some x base to f uh, uh, to the category of uh, uh, commutative graded print. Uh, so actually, there are several approaches. To arrange the homology theories. Uh, so, so I think the most famous ones are due to Levine and Morel. So there is a similar approach due to finding I will follow an approach of Levine and Morel. So, so we have a contravariant factor from the category smooth varieties uh, to the category of rings. Uh, and this functor should satisfy some list of axioms. Uh, but uh, this list is actually not so long, but it's also not so short. Uh, well, so for example, uh, so, uh, so if we have morphism of two varieties from X to Y, then uh, by the very definition, uh, we have a map, which I know that as F. Uh, star uh, from A of Y to A of X in the opposite direction, which is called Puma. This is used, this is a contravariant factor. Uh, but uh, 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 we need to push forward. So if uh, this map is uh, proper, so then there is also a push forward direction. Uh, so this is actually here, uh, we have a shift of grading, uh, but uh, it's not important in this talk. So this is uh, a ring homomorphism, but uh, this is just a group homomorphism, which uh, not uh, your uh, multiplication. So, and um, so this of axioms, and so this of properties, and so the most uh, Axioms are some sort of familiar to everyone, like uh, homotopy invariance, uh, localization property, uh, projection formula, for example, uh, which connects to back to forward. Well, some other compatibilities. And uh, what is the most important part uh, for my talk? So this figure should be additional. Um, Oriented. Uh, so oriented means so there are chem classes for this field. Okay. Uh, so namely, um, so, uh, if you have a vector bundle E over X, uh, then you can associate to it so chem classes. Which lie here. And uh, again, uh, they satisfy some list of axioms. 
Uh, and uh, so the most important problem then is the need that uh, uh, there is a formal group law associated uh, to our theory A. So what does it mean? If you have two line bundles, L and L prime, so then uh, we can try to compute uh, the first term and uh, prime. So this is also the line bundle. And uh, I mean, the first, uh, what actually comes in mind, uh, that the formula is like this, very natural, uh, but it turns out that exactly the opposite is true. <laughs> in general, in general. In general. <laughs> Uh, so name the uh, plus uh, like infinitely many terms, uh, but uh, don't worry because uh, so there are some importancy axioms uh, for all concrete L and L prime of X. Uh, this is finite, so it's like zero from for higher terms. Uh, but in general, it's a power series, so infinite an infinite power series, uh, and uh, this power series. So uh, I write it like uh, F G A A one one and uh, this power series in two variables. So it satisfies some properties, well, and uh, these are precisely. The, the properties from the definition of the formal group. I don't write it down. It's not so important. Uh, so it's in, so if we have an oriented cohomology theory, we have some power series. This is what I want to say. So uh, let me give you examples. Actually, you can just pick one of these examples and keep it in mind and plug in in all <coughs> statements. And this is. Fine. Uh, so I think the most uh, classic examples are Chow, Chow rings, Chow, Chow theory. In this case, uh, its power series is indeed uh, just x plus y, additive formal group. Of, so there is no dot for dot here. Uh, another example is K0. And uh, since uh, our theories are graded, so by the definition, I would like to grade K0 so artificially producing so an element theta of degree minus one. Uh, just K0. Uh, so in this case, uh, the formal group law looks like this, so-called multiplicative uh, formal group law. So it's also a polynomial. Uh, so you see a degree minus one because we want it to be homogeneous. So degree of x and degree of y is one, so quite natural the degree of x is minus one. So another example also. Oh, so of the rate of work in the right. Sorry, so what is C1 in the second one? So C1 K0 of L. Uh, as far as I remember, it's the trivial bundle minus the dual bundle. Times beta inverse. Oh, yeah, somewhere better in here. Yeah, 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 better. So um, the, whole, the, the whole thing, because it should be a degree one. Right. You, you always can reconstruct where you should put better if you want in K0 case. In this case, the formal group law is the most complicated one. It's universal formal group law. So it has uh, all coefficients. Let's just see. Well, and uh, the last example, uh, which is uh, important for my talk, 
morality theory, algebraic morality theory. Okay. Uh, so let me just briefly explain you what it is. Actually, I like this theory very much. Well, uh, so we need, uh, so according to this approach, we need some formal group law, some power series. Well, uh, so we need some, so we need the coefficient ring, the coefficients of this formal group law. Uh, let us take Sp and also, as in the K0 case, we add some artificial variable for degree as this time minus p power n minus one. So the p is some bit and we don't change it from, from the very beginning. Uh, so, and uh, the power series, uh, so I will not uh, define it concretely. Actually, it's not really possible. I mean, there are formulas, but it's not like uh, you know, the coefficient L. There is no closed formula for so coefficients. Uh, there is an algorithm how to produce it. As we know a lot, but uh, not a precise, uh, not any compact. Right. So I will uh, define it uh, implicitly. So namely, we are looking for a formal group law for power series uh, satisfying uh, the following condition. So we take uh, P of U. Which is u plus plus u plus p times, uh, but the sum in the sense of a so u plus u is by definition FGL. So we plug in into the power series p times. Uh, so, and we want it at the end when we compute it, uh, we get uh, p times u, but p is zero, so it disappears. And then we want uh, that uh, it begins, so it's a power series in one variable, so we want it to begin from letter a, a u p n plus. So the, low, the lowest term looks like this, so a is non zero. In this case, we say that uh, the theory A has So for instance, K zero has height one. So just plug in and see. And uh, Chow theory has height infinity. So it never happens. Uh, well, and for the morality theory, Kn, uh, we take a formal group law of height M. Actually, it's not unique, but it's some formal group of high n. And uh, then uh, Kn is defined, Kn is say, some the right x is defined as omega of x of the break of orbism tends on this formal group of tends on this, this ring R. So L is the Lazar ring. So this is a module of L, and R is also an L module because uh, we, by the definition of the, of the Lazari, there is a unique homomorphism from L to R, given by this formal group law of height M. So uh, you see, it's not really concrete, but uh, one can leave. It's, it's not so bad, this definition. So it looks like we need to know omega to compute Kn, but there are ways to compute Kn, but we don't know omega. So it's not so it's not so bad as it looks like. Well, and uh, philosophically, uh, how you should think about algebraic morality theory. So you have uh, the type of sequence k1, k2, and so on. So K1 is actually of so height one, so it's more or less K0. Uh, you see also the grading fits nicely. If, if P is two and N is one, you get minus one, so you get that. Well, and uh, so it's some sort of infinite sequence and 
some kind of stabilizers that the Chow theory, well, so more precisely, the Chow theory modular P, if you want to go into very formal. So it's some sort of some, some theories lying between K0 and Chow and uh, deformation from one theory to another. But and what are the motives? The motives, so we define them exactly in the same way as Rotten did. But you replace uh, Chow theory by A for an arbitrary oriented homology theory. So you have to get that uh, A motives. Different isomorphism. Oh, so I erased it. Yes, we had two varieties, X and Y. So morphism between them in the category of A motives will be not the Chow, but A. A dimension Y with the same formula as for Chow, but now we put A instead of Chow. Uh, X and Y should be a smooth project. So now we projected over F. Let me now introduce uh, objects, which I'm about to start, um, uh, whose motives I'm about to start. Uh, so let G be a semi simple uh, algebraic group over F. Uh, here, I don't assume that, so F, uh, that F is algebraically closed. And I don't assume that the G is P, so it's, it's an arbitrary group. Uh, semi simple. So then uh, I would like to take the so the variety of X, the variety of real subgroups. Since uh, G is not split, uh, so there are no real subgroups in general defined over F. Uh, so this is a variety, so it's a variety over F, but it usually has no rational points. Uh, so an example is just to have in mind uh, if G is just SLM, then X is just a variety of full flags. In a dimensional vector. But here, when we twist uh, this equation, then um, yeah, we get a twisted form of uh, this right uh, you know, descriptions. But for instance, if n is 2, uh, so in fact, then we take not SL2, but it's a group of twisted form of SL2. Uh, so one, two, not P1, so it will look at P1, but here you get several <coughs> uh, this pattern. And uh, I would like to study the A motives of X. So, what is known? Uh, so, in, in the case when A is Chow, uh, not Chow, but Chow modular P. This prime number. So the answer is as follows. Yeah. It's an old result of uh, myself with, uh, with Victor. There's an idea which appears in this context, which is called uh, the gene. So the answer is. As follows. So the Chow motive. So let 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 that be noted by Chow to stress that it's modular P. So the Chow motive of this variety of rural subgroups is so the direct sum of uh, the sum of state twist. For them, for them, there is also a closed concrete formula, but uh, I don't focus on this part. So it's uh, 
a sum of copies of twisted or shifted copies of the same motif RP G. Uh, R is because of Rost. Rost motifs, and this is some sort of a generalized version. In some special cases, you indeed get uh, the usual Rost motifs uh, from the proof of the Miller conjecture or Luxata conjecture. Uh, so they're indecomposable. And you see a remarkable thing, it's the same motif. I mean, there's only one type of direct sum, okay? indecomposable direct sum. Uh, and uh, more of one, when we pass to a you know, the break closure of F, we have the following uh, funny formula for this motif. So if we go to like F bar, as you know, like this, and uh, when we compute, well, all in algebraic or closed field, X is cell because of the grad decomposition. So the motif is just a sum of state motif with different twists. So this motif is also a sum of state motifs over closed field. So we just count uh, the state motifs of all shifts, how many. Take motives with shift L R and put them into a polynomial, the Poincare polynomial. So and the formula is like this. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, T T T I. It's almost a platonic polynomial, not quite, but very similar, and product of them. So there are uh, different parameters here, like di, r, I mean, the number. Uh, they are known. So you just I mean, there is a table. So it's they are combinatorial. They depend on the on the Dinkin type of G. Uh, so they are just known. Actually, it's a, a table which I like very much. It's a, some, a source of inspiration to find some patterns. The neurological patterns uh, in motives. And uh, these, these parameters here one, two. so they are geometric. And uh, these are the gene the end. So, in some sense, uh, so the gene variant is responsible for the shape of these motives which appear in the decomposition. Of this X. This is the gene variant. Okay, but what happens for other theories? So one could expect uh, the same happens, but uh, not at all. Even for K0, K0 instead of Chow, and uh, try to do the same. So it is known, it's a result of finding, but it's, it's completely different. There's, there's nothing in common. At the first glance, uh, for example, it's not true that it's the same mode. There are many different types of non isomorphic motives which appear. So, moreover, uh, well, in the most cases, they all have rank one. So, if you pass I mean, the algebraic closure, it will be just one tape motive. So, these are twisted forms of K0 tape motive. Very strange. Uh, I mean, Especially when they compare it with this, then uh, it's a reasonable question how is it possible? Uh, because uh, the difference between Chow and K0 is essentially that this element, this artificial element beta, will give you minus one. Uh, because if you look at the formal group law, x plus y and x plus y minus beta, they look very similar. Well, quite a mystery. And I would like to say, to explain you. The, the solution. I mean, what? Uh, so it is, so it's, indeed, it's indeed both cases are consequences of one more general result. Of special. I mean, you wrote this child, this child is FD or Yes. Yeah. I mean, if you want uh, such a nice formula, yes. If you put like integral coefficients, uh, it's uh, not useful. 
I mean, you, you can do it, but it's not like. I mean, the decomposition there. Ah, no, yeah, even yeah, even this is not true. You will get the difference. Moreover, there is no whole Schmidt with integral coefficients. So it means uh, you can have different, I mean, completely different types. Uh, it's really a lot, and it's not like two or three. But the example that you have so many different uh, decompositions. Uh, yeah, so it's important that the coefficient or uh, I mean if, if they are if you localize at p so if you, it's fine yeah. yeah the mess begins when you mix primes Chinese remainder theorem come on <laughs> but if you focus on one prime you have atomic formulas uh, well, so it's the third part, uh, so the general case. So now we have uh, the range of homology theory uh, as above, plus some mild conditions. But uh, these conditions at least do not exclude uh, cases like Chow, K0, or morality theory. So these cases survive. So uh, the point is if you take uh, not G but P over the breaker closed field of F bar, then this is a hot topic. It was uh, very well known, and the co, co multiplication is induced by the multiplication in G. So now um, we have X. So X corresponds, so when we twist a speed group, so this corresponds to one, so let me say so G0 speed group, the same type of the same Lincoln type. So then, uh, excuse me, why this is a hot algebra? Uh, oh, co-multiplication uh, is uh, on push forward by the no, 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 let's pull back uh, because we have multiplication like this, okay. and then when it's a pullback, it's in the opposite direction, so you get uh, a of, well, uh, formally you get something else, but then you need commit speed groups, you have commit formula, so this is. Uh, the coefficient and also you have co units, you have, you have everything, and uh, all these are income amorphous because it's pullback. It's, uh, it's nice. So, uh, this x corresponds to some uh, g0 total of f, and uh, so we define j as a j because of the j invariance, it's supposed to generalize. Uh, by the following formula, well, also, so another point uh, we can identify a of g0 and a of g bar uh, because when the group is split, uh, it doesn't matter. And this cohomology does not depend uh, on the base field when uh, the group is split. Uh, so you need it's also a e bar. That's, that's how we get the map, right? You go yeah, but e bar is the same. It is the same as g yeah, bar, yeah. but I would like to put here g z. Yeah, yeah. uh, <coughs> we need to show indeed that uh, it's. Uh, but uh, what, what, what's coming on is, is well defined. So it doesn't depend on the choice of the identification, mm. uh, but it's, it's, it does not. Yeah. It does not depend. Mm. So it's some sort of small lemma. Is that the co-unit point? Uh, so this is an ideal in. Uh, 
Yes. Uh, well, actually, uh, uh, this part is some sort of uh, obvious because if we don't exclude this, we get uh, every, we get uh, one inside, and then uh, it, we need to exclude uh, this part. Otherwise, J equals uh, the whole ring. Uh, well, but it's not only an ideal; it's a B ideal. But the main result, as I call it, uh, two layers. So, uh, namely, to so have one to one uh, correspondence. Between material decompositions. Of this X, of this X. Actually, I can write it in terms of the torso now. It's just E modular Borel subgroup of G0. Please and and uh, because it's two layers A and B and there is some decomposition of zero here. I've got one more definition H A of G zero modular. Is J. Actually, uh, the J invariant is not J, but uh, A of G0 modular J. This is, so this is an analog, an analog of the J index with respect to A. And uh, so A generic B as, uh, as an H dual model. Um, so the point is, suppose uh, this ring is naturally an H co uh, So if you would like to know more, I can just explain it. Uh, and we dualize because I not very. So I feel better when I drop the modules. Then with co modules, and uh, you can dualize because everything here is finitely uh, generated. But in general, you can't. And uh, so you see, uh, so this is something mysterious which we want to understand, but this is something which, which, uh, which looks better. So it's just about modules, co modules. Uh, all objects here are concrete. So I should say A of G0 is not so big. In, in cases we know it's uh, quite, I mean, the dimension is not big. And this is actually precisely what happens for Chow. The Chow mode is it's an answer. So here it's completely equivalent to the previous one of the Chow. In general, for general A, there is second layer because it can happen. Yeah, and, uh, and, uh, and we get tomorrow. Uh, so the A, the A mode of this A mode here is isomorphic to the direct sum of uh, some mode of R. Um, shifts such that uh, so then we compute, we compute it again over closed field. So then we get. So in particular, you can uh, just, uh, just compute its rank. So its rank, uh, again, it's, it's, it's also a sum of state modules at the very end of it when the field is closed. So you can compute its rank. And uh, for the Chow theory, this is precisely this Ross mode RP G, which was before. But uh, in general, it can happen. So it happens indeed that this motif is not indecomposable, and you can decompose it for 
for child theory, there is nothing happening. So we did not see it that time because it doesn't happen. And uh, in part B, with R, so material decomposition of R, I one to one correspondence with decompositions of, of the, the dualize again, so dualize in the sense of pop fabric. The composition of page dual as a module over itself. And again, since uh, in many cases we know H, uh, in many cases we can dualize. So to dualize, we need to know the co-product. So we know it in many cases. And then uh, the right hand side is something which we understand. And in this way, we recover old formulas for KCO, what I mentioned before. And also get new results uh, about uh, morality theory, and also uh, even the, uh, using this approach, uh, we even get uh, uh, new results about child models. Not using this statement, but uh, using this um, hope theoretic technique. We'll stop here. Thank you for your attention. Thank you,